Hi, my name is Meira Schneider Attic, and I am here to teach you how to look good within Jewish law. One aspect of that is hair covering for married women, and one aspect of that is mitpachot. Now, I have had several people ask about how to wear mitpachot for different uh, situations, whether, you know, jeans and t-shirts, um, job interviews, um, special events. Well, today I'm going to give you some uh, ideas and suggestions about what about how to wrap uh, mitpachot for special events. When I talk about special events, I am referring to weddings, bar, bar and bat mitzvahs, and any event where you really have to get seriously dressed up, or as my aunt would put it, seriously for pissed. So now there, now there are women who are more comfortable wearing just one scarf instead of more than one. And believe it or not, you can do a fancy wrap with even just one scarf. You can pull it off. It just takes a little bit more um, creativity because you only have one scarf to deal with. Whereas with layering, you have a bit, you have uh, some more options. But you can still do this with one scarf. How do you do it? You always start with the number one thing that people notice, and that's color. You always have to start with a color that flatters you. Because remember, if you're only doing one scarf, you don't have the option of layering it. So it has to flatter you. Now, for a lot of special occasions, what a lot of women do is they go to black. Supposedly, black is a fail-safe no-brainer. And after all, they don't call it black tie for nothing. But the thing is, here's the problem. Black doesn't flatter everybody. I know that it only flatters me if it's a soft black and a soft texture and if I mix it with a second color. But it doesn't flatter everybody. It does flatter some people, but not everybody. So if you're only doing one scarf and black does not flatter you, then you can't do black. But the good news is there are plenty of other colors to choose from. If you want to keep it very, very simple and dark, choose another dark neutral that flatters you, like navy or chocolate brown or charcoal gray. You'll get a good look. If black does flatter you, go ahead, wear it, own it, love it. If, however, you want to go with a color, with something that isn't neutral, you have to choose a color that not only flatters you, but that also gives you the effect that you want. Now, not all flattering colors will give you the right dramatic effect that you want to create at a fancy occasion. Your best bet is to go with one of two options. Either go with a color from the red family, which, uh, and your best bet is to start with the color of your flushed cheeks. Now, I learned all of this from a uh, fashion guru who wrote about uh, how different colors can have different effects on you and on how people perceive you. The color of your flushed cheeks suggests that you are bringing uh, health and vitality to the occasion. And that could be anything in the red family, but it has to flatter you. It's got to be your red, whether that's pinkish red or orangey red or purplish red. It's got to flatter you. This scarf has a, ha, is, has a lot of uh, burgundy red, but also orangey reds. And these reds flatter me way more than true red does. So I could get away with them. Plus, this particular scarf has a lot of shine running through it. You can see it if you look closely. There's a lot of shine. And shiny is good because it really adds that nice fancy touch. Your other color option is to, is to look at the colors on the veins on your inner wrist and try to find uh, colors. Those are going to be colors that are mostly in the blue family. They might be greenish blue or bluish green, or they might be purplish blue or bluish purple, or they might be anywhere, in, or they might be any blue you like. Just remember, though, it has to flatter you. That kind of, those colors tend to create a very dramatic impression. 
so you might want to go lighter or darker depending on what uh, depending on how much you want to stand out this particular dark teal is my best blue so I would definitely wear it for a special occasion plus one thing I like about this particular scarf is that it has a print but it's a subtle print and it and the print is more of a border so that makes the scarf look extra special all by itself then like I said you already have to make sure that the scarf is a color that flatters you, but you also have to make sure that the scarf itself has just a little something going on it. Even if it is in a more dramatic color, if it's just a plain, simple scarf, it's not going to work all by itself. So if you want to wear it all by itself, it's got to have something. But you can do that. First of all, like I told you, if there's a shine to it, you got something good going there. If it has a subtle print, like a border, that too is great. But if it also comes with a little bling, like this sequin scarf, that too will work. But you just want to make sure that it's special. Then, all you have to do from there is make sure that you're wearing a wrap that flatters you and that has some drama to it. It's best to go with something that adds just a little bit of height, like a turban wrap or a turban wrap with angle twist, or actually a turban regal wrap with twist. Turban wrap with angle twist is layered. But a turban regal wrap with twist looks great. Any, any form of turban wrap looks amazing. And if you like hanging tails on one side, that's fine. I don't recommend, though, that you wear tails on both sides, because that doesn't, that sort of takes away the formality. Plus, if the tail is too long, it takes away some of the formality. It tends to look a little more casual. Plus, now, I myself find that uh, I don't like tails on me, so I don't wear them. I always tuck them away. But if you like tails on you, a little bit of tail on one side is absolutely fine. It'll look just fine. Now, if you're the type of person who prefers a more layered look, then you have quite a bit more options. First of all, you can wear black, even if it doesn't flatter you, because you can layer it with a color that does. This is also one of the reasons that I like the turban wrap with angle twist, because I can wear black with that. I wear black with dark gold to create the twist, and then I usually wear teal to create the turban, because that goes nearest my face, and it works. Plus, if you like doing layered wraps, you can wear two or three or even four plain, simple scarves with no prints, no ornamentation, no shininess. And you can wear them in any layered wrap that you like, a braid wrap, a twist wrap, um, a zigzag wrap. And of course, there's always there are always sari wraps. Those look amazing, but those have to be layered because they can't really cover your whole head without something underneath them. But the good news is you have a lot of options. And what you need to do is follow the advice of uh, another fashion guru who says that about a week or so before, before your fancy event, try everything on. Now, she was referring to your whole outfit, but I'm also talking about your wraps. Try on your whole outfit with the wrap. Make sure that it looks right. Make sure that it gives the effect that you want. Make sure that it makes you look and feel like you could rule the room, like you will rock that room. And that you're in danger of upstaging the guests of honor. Although not that you want to do that, but you really want to look good enough and confident and feel confident enough to do exactly that. Not that you want to actually upstage somebody, but you get what I mean. You, you want to look and feel seriously elegant and beautiful. So just play around, have fun, try things on, and see what you can come up with. And just try to enjoy it. Special events are a wonderful thing.